right, today is a big day in the shop. So it's something I've been wanting since before I got my Monarch, but definitely since I've had my Monarch, is an easier, better, safer, more fun way of uh, changing out the chucks. So a lot of times I will just deal with whatever chuck is in the lathe to avoid having to swap it out because my three jaw weighs probably, I don't know, 110 pounds and my four jaw probably weighs 120 pounds. And of course they're, you know, up well above waist high. So it's, it's just dangerous. And um, anyway, so I finally bit the bullet and ordered a sky hook. So the only person I've seen talk about or show a skyhook is John Saunders, NYC CNC. And he's got a nice review of what they want to do with um, the skyhook he bought. This has been a couple of years ago now. And his is the version that has its own rolling base. So it's kind of like a mobile cart that has a crane on it. Whereas this one is a tool post crane. And that's exactly what I need. Here we go. Skyhook owner's manual, chain models. And then this has got a, um, I guess that's the little revolving hand wheel. Stick the, stick the boom into the base and you're good to go. So this model is a uh, 85002. So it's the economy model with a chain roller. And I did that because I'm gonna use it and it's gonna be very, very handy, but I didn't wanna spend the extra 400 bucks or whatever it was to get the premium model, which has kind of an automatic braking system. Um, so this one's not gonna be quite as nice to use as the, the next step up but I think for our purposes here in the shop, it's gonna be fantastic. So let's move over to the lathe and we'll see how this thing fits onto the tool post. There we go. Easy as can be, it's just like changing, a, changing out a tool. Um, this thing pivots around, so we should be able to, as far as I know, go 360, which, yep. Uh, now let's see how it takes a load. Okay, now that we've got five of the uh, six cams loosened, let's get the Sky hook in position here. Let's so move over just a little bit more. Try and get this guy directly over the center of gravity of the chuck and crack off the last. Yep. Okay. Um, this doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Something bad's about to happen. Look at that. <sighs> that makes me a very happy camper. Um, anybody that has to uh, deal with manually installing and removing heavy lathe chucks will understand my, uh, my happiness right now. That is just too easy. Oh man, I love it. So the, the chain travel on this thing is actually fairly long. So I think if I wanna start putting, uh, start putting chucks on the floor, I could do that. The reason I haven't in the past is because if you put a heavy thing on the floor, you've gotta get it off the floor to use it. So I've kinda positioned things such that I can use my Lista cabinet and drop these chucks kind of waist high into the Lista cabinet. And obviously they stay clean that way, which is also a very, very nice benefit. So yeah, that is great. And of course, if we want, we can, ooh, 
raise it up higher. Maybe that's the max. Yeah, anyway, I think I was in between where it breaks, but anyway. Oh, yes. So obviously this is gonna be the main purpose of this guy is to help me with chucks, but it's also gonna be very handy loading heavy material. Uh, I can just choke on a piece of uh, steel or whatever and it'll make it a lot easier putting it in the chuck um, rather than again having to just muscle it in there. So that is exciting. Taking some pictures for Instagram, I figured why not uh, show how this thing will perform going back on and obviously never done this before but feeling pretty good. Got everything all cleaned off. Oopsie. Kind of just in between lengths of chain, I think. That's the problem there. on the chain, remove that and swing it out of the way. And I'll go back and tighten all those up, but yeah, could not be easier. And happily, my 14 inch chuck with the lifting eye sticking out of it still swings. But the way to do it is to loosen all, uh, or at least loosen five of them and then come back and do number three last, well, in this case, number three, um, and then uh, put the eye in and remove that last one. But yeah, that should work out great. I am very, very happy to have this sucker. So I think that's gonna work fantastic over on the lathe. One other thing that would be nice is to be able to use this on the milling machine. Uh, most of the time I can get heavy stuff like the rotary table or the indexer up here by using my um, my basic you know hand cranked forklift guy the genie lift but sometimes it would be nice to be able to to have something a little bit less cumbersome and so being able to mount that sky hook over here would be great sky hook actually makes a uh, basically an angle plate that's got two uh, mounting holes in it so you can strap it down to um, a surface whether it's a milling table or whatever and then on the front of it is a dovetail and so you basically you know just slide it in like you would on your tool post um, they want about 300 bucks list for that and I totally respect their desire to sell products and make money and for a lot of busy shops that's worth it so you don't have to mess with it but i've got a machine shop and a little bit of time so i went ahead and decided to make my own uh, this is just a piece of mystery metal. It came to me when I bought a drill press a while back before I had a milling machine actually. And a guy that uh, sold me the, the, the Buffalo number 18 uh, drill press was just like, hey, get all this, do you want any of this stuff and take it if you do. And so I got a couple of chunks of um, some kind of high quality metal. I don't know what it is. It's not cold um, or A36, I don't think. And um, it's not um, cold rolled. So anyway, I decided, why not? Let's use that. It's about the right size for, uh, in terms of thickness, to match what the base is on the sky hook, and it's sitting here, so I don't have to buy something. So yeah, that's what I did. Just uh, cleaned it up and then milled a dovetail on the front end, uh, clearance holes here for half 13 threaded rod or bolts, and those are on a two and a half inch center to match the T-slots in the milling machine table. I'm sure it's not really necessary to have both of these studs come through here for strength, but it will be a good idea so that it can't pivot with the uh, sky hook on there. So I'm gonna grab the sky hook. 
And I went ahead and milled this pretty close tolerance to what the dovetail is on the base here, just so that when it's in place, it doesn't have anywhere to move. So there is virtually no wiggle in that fit. Might come in handy to use as a, you know, insert changing station, just plop it on there and I don't have to try and hold the whole insert block if I don't wanna do it on the lathe. But yeah, I think this is gonna work out similarly great, uh, being able to use this on the lathe and on the mill as well is just gonna give me more options for doing things safely and efficiently. And that's kind of the name of the game in a, milling, in a uh, machine shop. A lot of times you're doing things that are inherently dangerous. So if you can make them a little bit less dangerous or a little bit more ergonomic, it's a pretty good idea to do that. So this guy here is gonna be a valuable addition to the shop going forward. I'm sure you're gonna see it quite a bit, or if you don't see it, I will use it off camera and uh, put it to good, uh, good operation here in the shop. Um, in a couple of days here, I'm expecting a very special delivery, something that's even more uh, desired for me over the, the last couple of years than this guy. And I'll, I won't spoil the surprise, but uh, leave a comment below if you have a guess. It's something for the lathe that I've wanted since I've had a lathe. And it's been suggested a few times by viewers and also on Instagram, people commenting and saying, hey, you should do and uh, X, Y, Z. And anyway, I think uh, I'm gonna be a very happy guy this weekend when that comes on Friday and hopefully we can um, enjoy having that as long as UPS man didn't uh, damage anything in, in route. So anyhow, here is our review of the Skyhook. And for those of you, if you can't find it online, look for Cyclone Atco Service. So that's Cyclone with an S, Y, C, L, O, N, E, and Atco, A, T, T, C, O Service. They are in uh, Letha, Idaho. I think whoever owned this company before or this patent or whatever uh, was in Southern California somewhere, but apparently now they're in, uh, in Idaho. So anyway, still made in USA and appears to be a very good product. I look forward to putting it to use. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.